Hi everybody, I'm back to make a really boring soap today. It's not that boring, it's a nice scent. It's a uh, cracked coconut, which I've made before, but it's a plain white soap. But I thought we'll just catch up and it'll be another video to add to the collection and we can chat as we go along. So it's just a plain white soap. I'm gonna make three loaves and this is another fragrance that I'm using up. Um, the one afterwards I, will be a bit more interesting because I'm going to be making Inches Lane after this one. That was Inches Lane, which is an old soap that I used to make when I first started making soap. And it's based on where I used to live, but that will be the next one. So this one will go up probably Monday next week. We shall see how far I get. It's a bank holiday on Monday. Which I didn't know. Matt just, I'm, sorry, I'm just wiping my little counter here. Um, Matt just told me today that it's a bank holiday on Monday, so I don't know. Time this will go up. I'll do my best to get it up as quickly as pos. So let's get started. Okay. So to start off with, I'm just going to pour my lye water into my oils, and first and foremost, I. In the description below, you will find my soap recipe that you can now purchase. So, I've been asked so many times for my recipe and I always say no because I have to pay for everything. But I thought, well, if I, if I do a file where you can buy this recipe, then that's a good idea, along with the tutorial. So on my Etsy, you can now buy this soap recipe. This is the soap recipe I use for every soap I make. And it's tried and trusted and I've been using it since 2006 and I've never changed it. So, if you want to purchase it, the link is the first link in the description below. And there's a tutorial in there for a French lavender soap as well. So, well worth your money. <laughs> I just thought I may as well do this because I just get asked all the time. And rather than feel like a negative Nancy and always saying no... I thought I could do it and they could buy it, you know, I could do that because I have to pay for all my assessments like I said, so I don't want to give stuff away for free, but I thought if I make it a decent fee that's not too expensive, then it's worth it for me and for you, so it's, a, it's the only thing is if you're within the EU or the UK, you can't sell with that recipe you well you can but you would have to have an assessment so it doesn't cover you for selling it's just the recipe so just put that out there so yeah links in the description if you want to purchase my recipe so i'm just going to stick blend this to a light trace and um, i'm just going to turn you off for a second because it might take a minute it's quite a big batch Okay, I've just reached the emulsification stage here, so it's not traced yet, so I'm just going to add my white mixture, which is just some titanium dioxide in water, and made a nice sort of runny paste. Let's get all of that out of there. And we'll stick blend that. Until we reach a light trace, just want to get it to a light trace, and we'll add the fragrance. So here goes. The trick that I learned in the beginning that I've actually put in the tutorial is don't just like hold your stick blender like this because you. We'll end up with it thickening up too fast or you'll end up with clumps and nothing gets dispersed properly. So I always like to stick blend and stir with my arm at the same time. Okay, it's almost a trace. And I'm going to add the fragrance, which is here. And that's at 1.9% mentioned before like you know lots of suppliers will tell you to use five percent it's because they want you to buy more of the fragrance <laughs> you certainly don't need five percent it's way too much way too much that's just my opinion so you know you stick to what you want to do but it's just a little hint there to uh well a little tip to tell you you don't need to use as much as they say and in the states you're allowed to use five percent my assessment here in the uk does not allow me to use that amount so i just use 1.9 
depending on the fragrance some of them you can't use it that anyway but um, yeah, just always check the supplier notes okay so I'm just going to stick them again for a little minute okay so when you can see the trace lines on the top of the soap that is when you've reached trace so it sort of sits on the top like a cream looks like cream I hope you can see that there if you can't then um well you can't but <laughs> I take it to a light trace so that when we pour it's just about right so yeah you should be able to see little lines going on the top of the soap and it's almost like the consistency of double cream before you whip it or you know yeah, just a little bit thicker than a single cream yeah, definitely like a double cream consistency that would be heavy cream to you in the states I believe okay so I'm going to bring you out and then we'll do the pouring and then we'll texture the top okay so just get the moulds ready and we're going to be doing three loads today so here are our moulds we've just got a bit of titanium dioxide powder in there so I've just wipe that out A bit of tissue. Okie dokie. So we'll just pour these in then. So it's, it's thickening up already, but it's not a fragrance that accelerates, it's just thickening up. Hold on, make sure that's out of the way of the handle. And pour slowly so that I don't tip it everywhere like I normally do. Trying to be professional. There's also links in the description to everything else as well, like suppliers, cutters, everything that you possibly could want to know, really. So I'm always getting asked, and emails and messages, and it's all in the description. <laughs> I get people coming over to Facebook to message me to ask me where did I get my moulds from? Where did I get my cutters from? So it's all there for you. You just got to look in the description of every single video. The same information is there. See how easy I make it for you? lovely easy soap to make I love making this one and it smells really really good it's very creamy very creamy okay I'm just going to scrape out the bucket Not a lot's going on at the moment in the UK. I don't know anything about the news because I've not watched again. Um, I, I really don't know. <laughs> if you feel like discussing the virus, then carry on, but I don't. I certainly don't. I'm having a lovely week this week. I've been really, really focusing on um, just being happy, you know, and listening to loads of Abraham Hicks still and reading lots of Law of Attraction books. I've got a load um, of samples in my Google Books, like play books thing, because I've been watching a guy called Bob Proctor lately, and um, he's done loads of book recommendations, so I thought, ah, oh, I need to read some of these. There's one called Think and Grow Rich, and I thought, we'll have some of that. I love reading things like this. I just like people's philosophy on um, law of attraction. I think it's it's so interesting, and there's loads and loads of stuff about um, oh god, all all kinds of things, just all kinds and all kinds of things. 
it's people's experiences and people's stories from rags to riches and just all because of law of attraction and it's just a major interest of mine and um, I mean for all aspects in life not just money I mean for everything in life it's it's I just find it so helpful so I am immersed at the moment in all kinds of different books So let me know some books in the comments below that you read about Law of Attraction because it's really interesting. Okay, so I'm going to let this set up for a minute and I'll tidy it up and then we'll come back and do the textured top. Okay, excuse me, I've just taken my gloves off because my hands were hot but I'm not going to touch the soap so just be aware. So I'm just going to bring it over like usual and I'm just going to bring it halfway today. Sometimes I take it all the way over but today I want to go halfway because I like the way it looks. So I left that then for about ooh, I don't know, five minutes, something like that. I've just been mixing up some colours for my next soap and also I'm working with a water discount here too as usual like most videos you will know that I work with discounted water just so we get a cure time I take about a week off the usual four week cure by doing that and there we go that's cracked coconut soap which I will be back shortly for the cut. Oh, doesn't it look nice? I'll take a picture of that wet soap, it looks lovely. Okay, let's then mould this uh, lovely, lovely soap then. I'll just cut one, I think. So it's been left actually for a couple of days because I didn't come in yesterday which was Saturday. I was going to and then I didn't come up. We were busy at home just mm, I don't really know what we were doing I can't quite remember but we were pottering around all day so I just didn't come up here but today we should get it cut. So cracked coconut it smells amazing. I love this soap. I love, love, love this soap. So I just, I um, almost used the fragrance up, but I shall probably buy it again because it's, it's nice. Okay, so. It's another very nice day out today. It went a bit windy and rainy yesterday, but today is very nice. Bring it a bit closer. Bit harder than usual because I've left it for another day but there we go so it's just gonna be a plain white bar so nothing interesting really other than you know a plain white bar <laughs> but it's very nice and creamy looking lovely 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 I love this soap so much so I shall be taking a couple of bars of this for myself as I won't be making it again for a while but it's a, a good seller in other products. If I make whip soap in this, that sells, and hair conditioner, that sells. Um, what else have I done in this? Body cream, that always goes. I don't think I did any this time. But yeah, so that's cracked coconut. And I shall carry on putting all the rest of those, and then I'll be back for the next video, which is inches lane and I just uh, posted over this weekend a picture of inches lane and a nice close-up on the um, peaks on the top because it just it soaked so beautifully that I took the picture before I'd actually um, put the video I took the picture and then I posted the picture normally I'd wait until the video's just about to go up but it was such a good picture that I thought now let's post it now <laughs> 
and they'll know that a video is coming. So if you don't follow my Instagram, then all links are down below in the description to everything. So that's all of my social media, all of the suppliers that I use. Um, there's the link for this, my soap recipe, if you want to go and purchase the soap recipe. And yeah, that'd be that. So that's packed coconut. So I'll be back for Inches Lane in the next video. Ta-ta.